Hi there. My multi-boot PC has 15 bootable partitions. Am I obsessed with multi-boot? No, but maybe with backup. I save the old hard disks and keep Windows on the first partition. Right now I have two old hard disks and they are entirely for backup. Zoom in. The newest hard disk drive, drive SDB, is a Seagate 2TB GPT disk used for UEFI booting. Ten partitions. The first three were put there by Microsoft when installing Windows 10 to the fourth partition, STB4. And this is my default system with all my office and multimedia files. The fifth partition, STB5, has various backups such as partition images and Windows registry files. And then there are three Linux partitions. Kubuntu, the default, OpenSUSE and Fedora. And finally, two smaller partitions for experimental systems. Two old MBR disks, SDA, Maxter, half a terabyte with Windows 7. And SDC, Hitachi, one terabyte with Windows 10. Partition 3 and 4 on both disks are older versions of Kubuntu and OpenSUSE, cloned to here from the main drive SDB, before upgrading their sources to newer versions. I have prepared these four systems to be ready to use as standalone disk drives, if or when the other disk drives conk out. On SDA2 there is Linux Mint 18 LTS, the last supporting KDE. And on SDC2 there are some backups of backups, plus a nostalgic Windows XP system. Reboot. And now the default boot sequence, Kubuntu Grub2 boot menu. Windows Boot Manager, default Windows 10 on SDB4. Windows 10 Desktop, Drive C, File Manager, and here the Dropbox folder on C with all the Office files, spreadsheets. Have installed ext2 FSD to be able to mount the Linux partitions. Kubuntu on Drive O, SDB6. Link to incremental backup using an xcopy batch file. Let's run it. xcopy of changed office files and multimedia files from drive C to drive D and later to drive E. Then some backups from the backup partition drive F to drive G. And finally backup of Windows 7 registry on drive D and on the other Windows 10 registry on Drive E. Backup of the present registry to be done with a similar batch file from another Windows. Rebooting. Tap F12 for BIOS boot menu. Choose OpenSUSE. Grab to boot menu. Could just as well have started OpenSUSE from the default Kubuntu boot menu. Open SUSE on SDB7. I have just upgraded Kubuntu on SDB6 from 18.10 to 19.04. And before that I created the partition image of 18.10 using part image. We we'll now clone this image onto the Maxter drive SDA3. Restore. Hit F5. OK. Now this will take quite a while. 
While waiting, I will upgrade Fedora 29 to Fedora 30. So I will now make a backup image of the STB8 partition. Unmount STB8. Part clone. I'll copy over the instruction. For ext4 file systems, I use part clone to create the partition image. Kubuntu is still on ext3 file system, for which I use part image. This will take a while as well. I will be back. I'm back. Zoom in. Kubuntu clone done. I have to change the UUID of the cloned partition on STA3. We'll zoom out. This will take a while as well. I will be back. I'm back. Zoom in. Soon finished. So, finished. We'll zoom out. We'll also have to change it in the FSTAB. Intend to only use this system in case of a standalone Mexter drive. Therefore, I will hash the mount points for the other drives, absence of which would prevent booting. Exception will keep SDB4 for now. When I need to use it in the standalone situation, I have to hash it first. The clone partition lacks a proper boot sector. The first step is to change the UUID also in the RUM CFG file. Reboot. Tap Delete to enter BIOS. Switching boot mode from UEFI only to UEFI and Legacy. Tap F10 to save. Tap F12. Have Ranish Boot Manager on all my MBR disks. Boot Partition 2 Linux Mint. Mint Desktop. Install Boot Sector to Kubuntu on STA3. Reboot. Tap F12. Ranish. Change to Partition 3 Kubuntu. Have to change the default. Now booting. Have booted the cloned Kubuntu partition STA3. I will copy over the old faulty custom file, which only has entries for the Maxter drive STA. Change to 18.10 on STA3. Instead of using 30 OS Prober, I manually add links to the Grub configuration menu in faulty custom. And finally, update Grub. All the desktop icons are still linked to the main Windows partition, STB4. What about if the main drive, STB, conks out? We'll power off and disconnect drive STA and STB. Rebooting. Tap F12 for BIOS boot menu. Boot the Hitachi drive. Ranish Boot Manager Kubuntu on Partition 3 Jump to OpenSUSE on Partition 4 Both are limited to booting on the Hitachi disk Jump to Partition 2 Windows XP Boot Ini Tap Grab for Win Back to XP Jump back to Partition 1 and Windows 10 Boot. Windows 10 Desktop, Drive C. Open the link to a video menu. But no. All shortcuts point to Drive D, the disconnected Seagate drive. Solution is to use ExtFSD to add Drive D. The operating system is using Drive C and the files Drive D. Open the video menu. Voila! File Manager, Drive D. Navigate to Drive G, Open SUSE, etc. FS tab. The mount point dash MNT dash SDB4 
is not available as a Seagate drive is disconnected. Hash the mount point, as not finding it would stop booting. We'll reverse this later on. Now reverse the extra drive letter, as Seagate disk is still OK. Ranish Partition 4 Boot OpenSUSE OpenSUSE Desktop on SDC4 Open Shortcut Not found on SDB4 because the Seagate drive has been disconnected. Make a symbolic link to SDC1. Rename it to SDB4 and copy over to replace the dash mnt dash sdb4 mount point. Refresh Firefox. Yeah. BLKID. Should it not be sda1? Yes, but mnt sdc1 is defined by the uuid in the etc fs tab. We'll reverse these changes later, as the Seagate disk is still OK. Rebooting and jumping the boot menus. In 1998, I lost my only hard disk drive to a flash fire of the PC. And 10 years later, I lost most of my file due to mechanical problems of the disk drive. But then I did have quite a lot of backups on DVDs. That's it. I hope you enjoyed it. And thank you for watching.